Are we planning to amend the legislation? Uh, absolutely. Uh, the Superior Court has uh, has struck down uh, one of the one of the uh, criteria that was in the, the previous legislation. We feel that uh, the best way to move forward is to work with what the Superior Court gave us, and to try to make that deadline, uh, March twenty first. We do hope to have uh, a more clear plan for uh, moving forward. Um, and and uh, engaging Canadians in conversations uh, about uh, what exactly to do with this piece of reform. We're always talking about people here. When we're talking about uh, about medical assistance and dying, we're talking about people. We're talking about families uh, at a very difficult uh, time in their lives, and we're often talking about people in pain. And and so we have to move expeditiously and compassionately. The legislation was always meant to be part of a step-by-step process. So 2016 was a first step. Uh, with a five-year review, we always knew that there would be subsequent steps. Uh, and in particular, uh, we always knew that we would have to think about these other issues. What's important to me is not how I voted last time. What's important to me is that I get a chance to help push this process along so that less people suffer. Uh, m- more people can can determine how they wish to live. It gives us an opportunity to think about quality of life uh, and and protecting people who feel vulnerable by these kinds of decisions, never forgetting them. And so, really, just helping push the process along uh, in a set of circumstances. Uh, that are challenging and deeply felt.